Hello everyone, welcome to my channel CSNA Chemistry Facts. Today we will discuss a rearrangement reaction named Wagner Milling Rearrangement. And before coming to the discussion on this reaction, I want to say that these name reactions are very important in CSR net, GATE, IIT JAM and many other university level competitive exams. And in this challenge, I am going to discuss each and every name reactions with the mechanistic details. So please follow each and every video of my challenge and subscribe my challenge now. So guys, let us start the discussion on this wagner marwin rearrangement. So guys, when an alcohol was treated with the acidic condition, it will form an alkene via the rearrangement. And then you can see this is the structure of the alkene and the alkene is known as the sanding which is actually an essential element for the sandal wood oil. And how this reaction will take place we will discuss now. So guys this is the starting material and this will be treated with the H plus. So therefore this oxygen will be there which has the lone pairs. And therefore this lone pair can donate to the H plus and it can protonate it and it can form the OH2 plus. OH2 plus is a very good living group and therefore it can leave and a positive charge can come on this carbon. So a carbocation can form. And the structure of the carbocation is like this. This carbocation can get a stability by the elimination of this proton and a double bond can form here. Right? So, so this is the structure of the double bond. And here you can see this carbon is actually a bridge carbon which having a double bond means a very much angle strain will produce here. And this compound is very unstable and therefore it will never form. So guys, this reaction will not take place means this proton cannot help to stabilize this carbocation and therefore there will be another way to stabilize the carbocation how it will be this methyl can shift here because you can see the structure here this is the vacant p orbital of this carbocation and this is the sigma bond of this carbon and this carbon and this methyl group can easily shift here because these two are parallel to each other. So these two are parallel to each other and therefore this can easily shift here. So a methyl migration can take place from here to here. So it will form this one. And here you can see the carbocation will come here and this is 3 degree carbocation, right? And this is the 2 degree carbocation. And we know the 3 degree carbocation is more stable than the 2 degree carbocation. So therefore this is the stable species. And now what will happen is that this hydrogen will be eliminated and a double bond will come here. actually with these carbons which are not the bridge carbons and hence this is the stable product so guys this is the product and this shift of this methyl group in the carbocation so this alkyl group shift in the carbocationic center is known as the wagner marwin rearrangement so hope guys you understand this mechanism now we will discuss for few examples so guys what will happen when this compound was treated with the acidic condition this OH will be protonated and it will form the OH2 plus and this OH2 plus is a very good living group and therefore it will leave and the carbon will form here. So this is the structure of the carbocation. And this is a 2 degree carbocation and it will try to stabilize itself via the migration of any bond to form the tertiary carbocation. Which bond will be migrated among this all? You can see here this is the structure and this is the vacant P orbital of this carbocation and this bond is actually parallel with this. So therefore this bond can break and this orbital can shift here. So therefore new bond can form between this carbon and this carbon. So therefore this bond can migrate here and a new bond can form between this carbon and this carbon. So guys this will be the structure. So guys, this is the structure and here you can see this is a 3 degree carbocation. So therefore this is stabilized than this. Now what will happen? This can be written like this.
So if you see this compound, if I give the numbering, then this is the one, two, then three, four, five, six, and now this is a seven and this is a eight. Now if you give the number is there and you can see this is a one and then two is this one. So this two is actually here. So this is a three and this is a four and this is a five. So this is a five and six is this one and seven is actually this one and eight is this one. So guys, so these two structures are actually equivalent. Now what will happen? To stabilize the sum of the tan, this proton can eliminate or this proton can eliminate. So which can eliminate between this proton or this proton? You can see if this proton will eliminate then the double bond will come here and the, car the carbon which is a bridge carbon having a double bond which will be a very unstable system because of the angular strain. So therefore this proton cannot be eliminated and this proton will be eliminated selectively and it will form this product. So this is the final product. So hope guys you understand this mechanism. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please like, comment and share this challenge. And please subscribe now. And please press the bell icon for the further notification. And thank you so much once again for watching this video.